Hello, I'm going to look at the expectations of uh, master's level qualifications, master's level study. And um, I'm going to refer to a document here, which is uh, published by the QAA, the Quality Assurance um, Agency, who are looking at the quality code for higher education. And this is going to describe the achievement that is represented by a master's level qualification. So if you're studying for a master's level qualification, this is what you have to demonstrate. Uh, there's three points. I'm going to um, read them verbatim from the QAA documents and then after each discuss them in turn. So the first one, um, um, a master's level qualification should demonstrate a systematic understanding of knowledge and a critical awareness of the current problems and or new insights, much of which is at or informed by the forefront of academic discipline in the field of study or area of professional practice. Uh, so what does this mean? This means that for a master's dissertation, you have to have a literature review because this is about knowledge, a systematic understanding of knowledge. You have to demonstrate that you know it. A critical awareness of the problems and insights. What are the current problems um, with the topic that, you, that you're researching? What are other academics, what are other researchers saying about the topic that you're researching? The second uh, statement is about uh, the research methodology. Um, a student studying at master's level needs to have a comprehensive understanding of techniques applicable to their own research or advanced scholarship. So this is about research methodology. If you're doing a master's level dissertation, you're going to have to have a research methodology chapter. You have to show that you understand research methods that you're using the correct research methods and that you've justified why you have chosen those research methods. The third point is uh, really about critical evaluation and discussion. Let me read the point. You have to show originality in the application of knowledge together with a practical understanding of how established techniques of research and inquiry are used to create and interpret knowledge in the discipline. Now, as I say, that's a lot of words. But what it really means is that there's a discussion section in your master's dissertation and you're critically evaluating the existing knowledge. You're critically evaluating the research methods that you've chosen. And I think really all of this boils down to two points. At master's level, you have to show that you're an expert and you have to show that you can critically evaluate. So the expertise is going to be demonstrated by the literature review. You know about your topic. You know what um, other academics and other researchers are, have written about your, your topic and it needs to be current. And that you're critical. You're critical of the literature review. You're critical of the research methods. And you're critical in your discussion. You're giving an opinion. You're evaluating things. You're analysing things. So that's it, uh, as defined by the QAA, three main areas that you need to have in a master's level qualification. And this applies to master's dissertations, knowledge, methodology and critical evaluation. Thank you.